welcome back to SoCaliRific. Today we're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We are here once again for our weekly updates where we just walk around the park and see what's new. So come along and let's go. We currently have a City Walk update. It looks as though they're gonna be opening a new Starbucks in a new location here. It used to be in another location, but they closed that one down and now they have one built right over here. Also, it looks like they have removed the Skechers location. I wonder if they're gonna bring something new, but it is all gone. No more Skechers here at City Walk. It looks like the porch is pretty much completed, looking super good. But here is an update on this facade. Just when you think it's completed, it looks as though they have added a prop and this prop definitely looks like a scarecrow. There were rumors that this uh, maze was gonna be scarecrow, but we weren't sure. But with this prop, it's looking more and more like it definitely will be. I don't know how many of you came to Horror Nights last year, but if you did, you might recognize this from the lower lot. It was like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre barbecue little pop-up. So it looks like that might be returning as well this year. So it looks as though Universal is getting ready for the 4th of July. They have their decorations up. I like that their mascot is Woody Woodpecker. I wish that he would come out like in his little suit. I don't know if he does for 4th of July. I've never been here for that, but it is looking pretty nice. And if you do want to celebrate the 4th of July, Universal will be doing their fireworks show on the 2nd, the 3rd, and the 4th. So you have a little more than one opportunity to come and check it out. All right, so we just got off the studio tour. So on the tram, we did get a Killer Clown Maze update. Um, I don't know if there was like much difference, but I am gonna put it in here just so you could see. It's always a good day when you go down Courthouse Square because you get to see like the Back to the Future set. That is super cool. We gotta stop by there for a little bit. Also, I guess if you do come early, Norman Bates is not out. So if you do come to Universal and you go on the tram first thing, he might not be out right away. We also did pass by the Nope set and they did cover like that bloody horse from last time. You can no longer see it. It's like in a trash bag. And I did get a Halloween update as well. Um, again, you can't really see much from that angle, but we did stop right in front of it, so I did get a look at it a little better. So we did get to do the electric tram today, and I wanted to see like if it was more quiet, but I don't know because there wasn't like a lot of people on it, like there wasn't a lot of weight, so it was super bumpy, but I think that's because there wasn't a ton of people, and also they did have like a loud rattling noise. Um, it wasn't as quiet as I thought, but I think maybe just because there wasn't a ton of people on it. It looks as though this snack stand on the lower lot will be opening soon. It looks pretty nice. Now you can get your drinks, popcorn, and snacks. So these are the drinks you could get, and I guess these are the snacks that are going to be available for purchase. Okay, here is your weekly look at Super Nintendo World Construction. I do see some new additions over here. I will use my phone to zoom in just so we can see a little better. But from here, I do see a thwomp. Actually, I've seen two thwomps. So they have added those to the land. That is super cool. And they also have like those pal boxes with some coins on top. We are seeing more and more little additions coming and I can't wait to see more. As you can see, no drastic changes. I did try to zoom in just to see if there was anything different but as of yet, not really, but they do have like a grass hedge right there. I did want to take a look at the rumored killer clowns maze just to see what that's looking like from this perspective as well. All right, so it currently looks as though they are doing a soft opening for the special effects show, which will be at 12.30 p.m. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch it this trip. I have been like a Universal Pass member for the last four to five years, and I have never seen this show. I don't know why, I just never have gone in. Am I missing out on it? I do need to watch it. So the show officially begins tomorrow, July 1st, but they are doing a soft opening just for guests today. So that's super cool. Here in the Universal Plaza, it is a Minion Takeover. Universal is definitely promoting the Minions, the Rise of Gru. We got little poster banners all around. We even got like a little game. We got some character meet and greets. And we have this huge Minion that's right in the center of the plaza. It is super cute. And if you listen to, they're actually playing like Minion music. <laughs> you look so adorable as always, all of your little eyes. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. But look at this like background. It looks so trippy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and of course I wanted to come to the Water World area just to see an update on the Blumhouse maze. Again, I can't see too much, but 
it's just fun to see what we can. You go and then I'm gonna go. Go, go, go! <laughs> it's more than I thought. It's more than I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a nice hot summer day. Me and my sister just ran through the super silly fun land like water area and it was super refreshing. We went in real quick just to take a look. We didn't bring an extra change of clothes so that is going to be it for today. We did have a good day. It was a short trip but we did see a few updates and they got a ride like three rides while I was doing some of the updates so that's super cool right but for now don't forget to hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have more videos coming soon until next time bye guys